We're going to swap the oil and filter on a 2012 VW Jetta that's a 6th generation or Mark 6 VW Jetta. This process is identical to that of the Mark 5 Rabbit. Uh, that video can be seen here. We'll start off by getting the car up on ramps, which we actually don't need to have the car on ramps or jacks to perform this job, but it makes it a bit easier. We'll remove the splash guard that's held on by eight T25 Torx bit fasteners. Press the clips in and pull back once you've removed the fasteners. With the splash guard removed, slide an oil pan underneath the car and let's break free the oil pan drain bolt with a 19 millimeter socket. Let that thing drain for 15 or 20 minutes till it gets down to a trickle and then button it back up. The next step is the oil filter, so we're going to spin off this cap on the oil filter housing. That gets us access to a valve that we can use to drain the remaining oil in the housing. Just use a screwdriver to press that valve in and slightly to the side. You can see here that just pressing it straight in won't open the valve, so in and to the side. With the oil in the housing drained, use a 76 millimeter 14 flute oil filter wrench to remove the housing. Yank the old paper filter, yank the old gasket, use a needle nose pliers actually to grab onto this tab that faces up on the old gasket. That's actually a good way too to identify which of the two new gaskets to use. Sometimes you'll get two new gaskets with your new filter. Um, use the one with the tab, make sure the tab's facing up, make sure you lube up that new gasket before you place it back into the housing and take your time making sure it seats right. Pop on your new paper filter. Now don't worry about whether or not you have this thing seated enough. When you screw the housing back onto the car, it will seat itself properly. So let's screw that housing back into place. Make sure that valve's uh, closed again, by the way. Then again, use your oil filter wrench to tighten the housing down. Screw the cap back onto the oil filter housing and let's get ready to dump some fresh oil into the car. Now the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated VW motors take 6.5 quarts of fully synthetic VW oil. That's VW spec 502 or better. In the states, the uh, only brands I've found that meet those specs are either Castrol Edge 5W40 or Mobile One OW40. So dump some of that in, check your dipstick reading, and top up as needed. Okay, we saved the splash guard for last so that we can do one final inspection under the car to make sure uh, nothing's dripping and everything's fastened appropriately. Here's a closer look at that overlapping teeth and locking mechanism at the front lip of the splash guard. Put that back into place, refasten the splash guard with the 8 T25 Torx bit fasteners, and enjoy your freshly lubed vehicle.